Zaha for me showed why Crystal Palace fans love him so much at the end. That driving run down to the byline, down the left-hand side, not giving up on it, even though those two Aguero goals are gone. And, and you know, some players and some teams would be demoralised by that, but he picked it up, he took them on himself, drove to the byline. That ball across was fantastic because Conor Wickham was there. Fernandinho had to do something and it was between his feet. I do feel slightly sorry for him because it's a difficult mm. one where you've just got to throw something at it and hope for the best. And it's gone into the back of the net. That's the, that's the Wilfred Zaha that Crystal Palace fans have fallen in love with. Yeah, and he tweeted after the game, you know, never give up. And that's what he's, he's like. That's mm. his spirit. He never does give up. And, you know, he, he seems to think that, that that's, that's how the whole team mentality is. Um, it's just, we're very lucky, to be honest with you. It was an own goal, and, and it, but it was a great, great bit of play by Wilf. But sometimes, you know, that's why I'm a little bit concerned that we you know maybe sit back a little bit too much um and rely on the one goal because it doesn't really allow us enough time if if the opposition get another goal and we have to sort of you know really counter attack we haven't got much time left but basically um it is they have got a good attitude um they did have a very very good good game um and i felt that um overall Although they in Man City did dominate us, um, we had the chances to win, you know, by two, two or three goals.